I'm doing a how-to uh, on taking off the rear wheel on a Honda NHX 110, also known as the Lead 110 or the Elite 110. Uh, so basically, my tire here is uh, pretty much almost gone. Uh, I've already passed the wear indicator, and, uh, and it's not quite bald yet. It probably have like maybe maybe like another millimeter or half a millimeter left until it's it is bald. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to take this off. Uh, first off, uh, before you get there, you have to take off the exhaust. And you can see that in one of my other videos. Uh, in this this one, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to skip that part. I'm just going to take off the wheel and only and show you how I do it. So there's several ways of doing this. Uh, fortunately for me, I have a uh, impact wrench here. And you're using a 24 millimeter, um, 24 millimeter socket. Now, if you don't have an impact wrench, what you could do is you could use a breaker bar, you know, a long, a long uh, um, a socket wrench, basically. Uh, and yeah, probably needs uh, two people to do this. Probably have to have someone holding the rear brake while you're using the breaker bar to uh, loosen up this nut here. If, if the rear brake doesn't isn't enough to hold the wheel from uh, spinning with with the, with you torquing down on the breaker bar, the other thing you can also do is you take off the drive cover you know, on the drive side, and you find a, uh, like a, a large, um, uh, basically like a large uh, uh, oil filter uh, wrench, and you could use that wrench to grab onto the uh, clutch bell, the bell of the clutch. So you do that and have, to have the second person hold the brake while you hold the clutch bell uh, still, and with the brake bar, you could, you could uh, take this nut off. This nut is, is you know, it's, it's a very tight fit, so, uh, so that's that's the uh, that's the main uh, issue. So, you know, like I said, fortunately for me, I have an impact wrench. So this is pretty quick and easy, pretty painless. Just get in there, it's off. That's the brake dust. That's the nut. This is actually a, a self-locking nut. You see two little flanges. Uh, to do the tabs here that actually locks it locks the nut into the tray. Put the washer and the wheel comes right off. And that's it. Taking out the wheel. You see a bunch of brake dust in here, and it's probably a little dirtier in here. If you have an air compressor, maybe you know you might want to blow this area and get that brake dust out. But be careful when you do that, because you know brake dust does uh, uh, brake dust does contain asbestos, so that's you know that stuff is unhealthy for you to breathe in. So usually I actually don't even like to do that. I just leave the leave that part alone. And and my wheel, what I do is I just lay on the ground and just tap it down like that. Um, and that's enough to get that extra quick dust out of here. And I'm good. Uh, from here, you know, you see different things. You can see where it says minimum diameter of this uh, of this drum. Uh, so I'm not gonna measure that because my you know my bike only has I only have 9,000 miles or a little bit over 9,000 miles right now. So it's, that should I should have plenty of black left uh, on mine. But I'm gonna look in here and see what's if it looks all okay. Okay, looks all clean, looks all okay to me. Um, so when you put this back in, uh, you, you know, be aware that this drive here, the wheel here, the interface is spline, along with the uh, axle, it's spline, so make sure you put it in properly, uh, and nice and square. Alright, nice and square. Alright, put that in. Put your washer in. Uh, put your uh, nut in. I can't remember what the uh, torque specification of this is, but I think it's I think it's about 80 foot pound, somewhere around there. Um, possibly a little bit more. Um, nah, I would just write that down on the comment section towards the bottom when when I double check exactly how many foot pound it is. Um, that's about it as far as taking off the wheel. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Thank you.